Jerry here from iRock Music School. Great to have you back here for another 1234 iRock Method video. Today we are looking at The Man by The Killers on the keyboard. Welcome to level one. Uh, the intro on the verse goes like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's G going down to the E minor. So for level one, we're just playing the E note. Very easy. Now in the chorus, uh, we have notes that look a little bit more like this. So through there, we had the A first, then the C, E, to the B. Now technically that's an A minor, C major, E minor, and a B minor. And we're letting those notes ring out. And then we go back to the verse. Alright, this is level two. Level two is all about power chords. So the G going to the E minor now looks like this. This is your G. And the E minor looks like this. And we get this sort of sound. So to play the G power chord, you've got G and D together, and the E minor power chord, A and B together. Now in the chorus, we have the A minor, so we get power chords again. The way I played that was an A power chord, or A minor power chord, so you've got A and E together. The C is C and G together. The E minor is E and B together. And then the B minor power chord is the B and the F sharp together. You get this nice sound. And it goes back to the verse again. Welcome to level three. Level three is all about triads, which is uh, chords with three notes in them. Um, so in the verse, the G going to the E minor looks like this. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. So there we've got a G major, G triad, which has got a G, a B, and a D in it, going down to an E minor, which has an E, a G, and a B in it. Then in the chorus, we've got an A minor. So in an A minor, you've got, in fact, I'll play it for you first. So the A minor has got an A, a C, and an E in it. Then the C has got a C, an E, and a G. The E minor has E, G, and B. And then the B has, the B minor I should say, has a B, a D, and an F sharp in it. I'll play that for you again. So here comes your A minor. Moving to C. Down to E minor. Up to B minor. And again. Up to C. Down to the E minor. Up to B minor. And welcome to level four, the big one. Uh, this is basically the same as level three, except with the addition of uh, some left hand parts and bass notes, um, and also a little bit of comping uh, just in the chorus. So um, so remember before we had the, the triad in the verse, G going to E minor. 
Oh, let me do that again for you. Now we're going to add at the same time, G going to E with the left hand. So you get G sounds like that, and then your E, or your E minor, sounds like that. Together it sounds just a bit more beefy, a bit more, bit more bass, a bit more low end to it. So you play that for the verse. Now for the choruses, you get this lovely little comping part. And when I say comping, I'm talking about it this almost becomes a bit like a drum or a, a bit rhythmic. So your left hand and your right hand end up playing at slightly different times. Um, so we know that, remember, we've got the uh, A minor triad first, going to the C, down to the E minor, up to the um, B minor. Now bringing in the comping part with the left hand, we end up with this for the A minor. And then we move up to the C, down to the E minor, and then up to the B minor. And it's funny, I actually find that easier to play than, um, than the triads by themselves. Um, so that makes level 4 easier than level 3 for me. Um, so that goes like this. Maybe a bit of a reason why I'm finding it a bit easier, and you might find the same thing, is because you're not playing every single beat with your hand, it actually gives you one whole beat to get your fingers in the right place. Uh, it's kind of nice. Well, that's it for this iRock video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and for more information, go to www.irockmusicschool.com.au. See you next time.